It's Batman time. This is just my first reactions, no spoilers, because it just came out, so I'm gonna give my more in-depth spoilerific review probably later on this week when everybody has a chance to watch it. But right now, I'm gonna give you my first thoughts. So The Batman, I've been excited since the announcement for it, because I like the director. Every time that they had a cast announcement, I really liked all the cast. I've been on record saying that I was a little apprehensive at the first trailer. When you really see Robert Pattinson be Batman and you hear his voice and whatnot, and I was a little apprehensive and I didn't know if he was gonna be able to really bring the gravitas that you really need to be Batman. I think he really did in this movie. He carried this movie for sure. I think he did a really great job. All around, this movie for me was exactly what I was looking for for a Batman movie. I've been asking for a long time for a detective-oriented Batman story. We get a little bit in The Dark Knight. There's a little bit in Batman versus Superman. But I wanted to go hard into the paint on this. I want to see a real detective story. This was what that was. It's inspired a lot by movies like Seven and David Fincher films, like The Zodiac. You can see a lot of that inspiration in The Riddler. Paul Dano does a fantastic job as the villain. Zoe Kravitz playing Catwoman. Surprise. Surprise. Le legitimately surprised because I have not seen her in a movie that I really liked her in. I have never felt like she was that great of an actress. But I think she killed it in this role. She really embodied the character of Catwoman. Catwoman was in the film the exact amount of time that she needed to be. And she was integrated into the storyline. And it didn't feel like it was shoehorned in. And it didn't overemphasize her character over Batman. This was definitely a Batman story. Other characters that were really great. Jeffrey Wright's Commissioner Gordon. His performances were great. They were, the performances all around were really good. Paul Dano, Robert Pattinson, Zoe Kravitz. They were all really really good let's talk about robert pattinson's batman he is very observant he's deliberate with his actions and with his words there's not a lot of talking the movie was not afraid to draw out shots and scenes it was not trying to barrel through the story it was taking its time and i appreciated that and i really just like it gets you in especially in the beginning of the movie it really gets you into this world this rainy dredgy world of Gotham and Gotham really is a character in and of itself and we haven't had that in a long time this style they created this movie with is I'm all for this style I love it the visuals are amazing I'm very glad that Robert Pattinson was able to kind of pull off the Batman feel and it was a different take a little bit a lot of the news surrounding the movie was about him being unhinged and all of this stuff like this but they did it in a way that really made a lot of sense for somebody that went through a traumatic childhood and developed this revenge a vengeance kind of mentality and really wanting to go all in into that he even says in in the early part of the movie he says this is my family's legacy the filmmaking itself the cinematography is just so good in the score each character's theme really fit their personality you got a sense of who they were through their theme catwoman's kind of soft melodic music to batman's hard thumping bass the score really brought everything together working with the sound effects and the visuals it really painted a really grungy gritty picture of gotham and I really love that part. They also, right in the beginning of the movie, they play the song, the Nirvana song that they played the cover of in the trailer, but it's actually Nirvana in the movie. And it's it really, it, they kind of weave that, the musical notes through the whole movie is almost based off of that. And I really like that song. So it kind of, it really worked for me. This is a story about Batman in his second year. So he's been around for a little bit. We have Commissioner Gordon kind of backing him and he knows who he is and the other police officers are questioning his motives and don't really know they really set up that world and where it goes again no spoilers but where it goes is a good place i like where it where it went with his relationship with the city and how how it going forward in their vision of batman and what he is for the city well i'm gonna make it pretty quick i like the movie a lot if i had to give it a score i would give it like an 8.5 or a 9 out of 10 i really enjoyed it i have some issues with the ending of the movie but again i can't get into that until i do the spoiler review i think the movie is the strongest in the beginning and the the ending of the movie is a little weak overall i really like how it was 
presented. I like the world. I want to see more of the world. I would like to see more villains and what they do with that. More in the spoiler talk. I'll talk about that more. I know a lot of people will ask the question, is it woke? Are there agenda politics in it? There's one line in it that I kind of rolled my eyes that you can kind of overlook. There's a little bit more going on in the ending of the movie that I want to get into with the spoiler that I won't get into now. It's really not that big of a deal. It didn't affect my view of the movie itself. So thank you for watching the video. Let me know in the comments below what you thought of the movie. If you get a chance to go see it, let me know. I, I want to see if you guys liked it. If you didn't like it, the reasons why you did or didn't, please let me know. I read all the comments. I will read them all. I read them all. And if you want to support the channel, go and buy some merch I got. I have merch down below in the description. I made a new special edition skull shirt. I had a lot of fun working on that shirt and I have a new shirt on the way. And see us tomorrow on Friday Night Tights when we all break this down on the show. Like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. And until next time, I will see you next time.